When you stare long into the abyss, the abyss will also stare into you. The threat of destruction from volcanic eruptions is always with us. That's because people who want to live amidst the beauty of the great outdoors will have to accept a bit of danger too. For some, the threats come from earthquakes on the west coast, tornadoes in the Midwest, or hurricanes to the southeast of the United States. For others, though, there's a chance that a sleeping volcano will awaken and explode with a storm of molten rock, hurling debris, fire, and ash across the landscape. People with homes or businesses near active volcanoes, such as Mount Rainier in Washington State or Yellowstone Caldera in Wyoming, live in fear that a cataclysmic eruption will send a torrent of hot lava and ashes to bury their community alive. Fortunately, volcanic eruptions are disasters that you can prepare for. All you need to do is follow the ancient wisdom that's been kept alive by people who make it their business to live in harmony with nature, hippies. Talk to a hippie about averting disaster and you will soon learn that the best way to avoid a volcanic eruption taking out your community is by propitiating to the hippopotamus god. It's a simple matter of providing plenty of delicious food to these hungry animals on a regular basis, along with fresh water. They have big mouths to feed. Female hippos weigh about 3,000 pounds, while males weigh 3,500 to 9,900 pounds. When food is scarce, these creatures can go without eating for three weeks. They are able to store as much as two days worth of food in the form of grass in their stomachs, which they can live off of before needing to burn fat for fuel. But under normal conditions, when food is readily available, hippos eat approximately 88 pounds of food every night. They come out after sunset to graze for about six hours or until they are satiated. Hippos are considered a threatened species, and we must do everything we can to protect them. It's the least we can do, since hippos are actively protecting humans from volcanic eruptions. We'll explore more about that relationship in a moment, after we delve into the fundamental nature of hippopotamuses. The name hippopotamus means river horse in Greek. You might be surprised to learn that hippos are more closely related to whales and pigs and are not connected to horses. But that's how the ancient people made sense of these water-loving animals before we learned about genetics. Some mystically inclined hippies who regard these huge animals with the most profound sense of respect have expressed a desire that, when they pass away, rather than coming back as another hippie, they would like to be reincarnated as an oxpecker, which is a bird that enjoys cleaning hippos' teeth, or as a barbel, a fish that eats parasites off of hippos' skin. While hippies generally have peaceful relations with hippos, the U.S. government warns people to keep their distance from any hippopotamus they encounter. Hippos are known to injure and kill people who get in their way. Reports indicate hippos kill about 500 people annually, but the death toll from volcanic eruptions is far higher. Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD killing as many as 2,000 people, stopping the residents of Pompeii in their tracks, covering them with deadly ash. Mount Krakatoa in Indonesia erupted in 1883, flinging 70-pound boulders some 50 miles away and killed approximately 36,000 people. Because of all the dust sent into the atmosphere, our moon appeared green and blue 
for two years after this eruption. And more recently, Mount St. Helens in Washington State erupted in 1980, destroying 230 square miles of forest and killing 57 people. A huge ash bloom from the eruption plunged Spokane, Washington into darkness, some 250 miles away from the deadly volcano. There is still danger from volcanic eruptions. Approximately 170 volcanoes are potentially active in the United States, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. And volcanic eruptions and associated wildfires have been responsible for almost 2,400 deaths from 1998 to 2017, per the World Health Organization's latest statistics. Fortunately, humanity can rely on hippos to safeguard us from the looming threat of volcanoes spewing lava, fire, and ash. Hippies are interested in supporting hippos because they have similar names and proclivities. It's important to note that reportedly, the hippies do not actually consider the hippopotamus to be a god. When propitiating to the great hippopotamus, the hippies are operating metaphorically, hoping to live like a graceful hippo and be one with nature. However, the metaphor doesn't always hold. Hippos apparently are much more interested in bathing than hippies. We can help them in this regard by ensuring that the world's waters stay pristine and pure. That is to say, end pollution now. But the most beneficial thing we can do is provide plenty of wholesome meals, since hippos do need to eat about 88 pounds of food every day. Neighbors can get involved by donating their food scraps and leftovers to a community nutrition pile for the hippos to ensure these magnificent creatures stay alive and happy. When these conditions are satisfied, the hippos will naturally prevent the town's volcano from erupting. And the people near such dangerous places as Seattle and Yellowstone Park will be able to breathe a sigh of relief and focus on their careers instead of the imminent flow of lava about to destroy their homes. <laughs>